All right, what's going on, everyone? So we just got done with our chickpeas the other night. Moving on to mustard here now. So I figured I'd show you guys kind of our setup from switching from chickpeas to mustard. So you'll notice the color on these meters right there, those guys. So we got green, and we got yellow, and then we got green, and we have fertilizer in the green ones, and then we have mustard in the yellow one. And we'll hop in the cab. We gotta note the color of those meters, and I'll show you why when we get in the So we're here inside the cab. We're looking at our screen here, and I'll show you guys why we need that color. So this little green, that's the meter I was talking about. So we're at green, in the front tank we have fertilizer, and we'll have to set our transmission to 26. I'll show you that later. So then we'll hop to the middle tank here. All right, we got it set to mustard, yellow, except we need to change this meter to yellow. And you'll see we have to set our transmission to 94. Oh, that's not right, because we got to change our rate here to we want eight pounds of mustard. So now we're at eight pounds of mustard per acre. We're the correct setting there, so we'll be setting the transmission to 15. We'll hop back and we're gonna check that front tank again. Okay, yep, 50 pounds, that's correct. Middle double check it, that's right. And then the rear tank, we don't have peas anymore. We now have fertilizer. If I can find it here, somewhere fertilizer all right and we want 50 in that guy except and we have to go to the green meter and we set it to 26 and then that should all be ready to go and then we actually have to move these settings over to our other screen as well or else the GPS won't pick up that we're actually seeding anything all right so we got all set here again. We're gonna be heading back out and I'll show you so that 26 15 26 underneath the rollers there is actually what we're gonna set these guys at. So we had 26 for the fertilizer. I'm gonna have to use both hands to do this. So what you do is just pull this down and you crank that up, make that happen like magic. So just like that, there we go, we got 26 on the rear tank. We're set to 15 on the middle tank. And then 26 again on the front tank. So that should have our cart all ready to go, except for the fan speed. And then the other thing I'm gonna have to change here is we were going about two and a half inches deep for our pit chickpeas. And then for the mustard, we're gonna go really shallow so we want to change our depth gauge there yep just pop that guy out and we're gonna go all the way down to the very bottom these can be kind of finicky sometimes and so that's gonna make it so we're just very very shallow there and I'm gonna have to do that for all of them here front row or back row and then all along the front row as well that's gonna take and then the last thing we got here is we're gonna be changing the fan speed so we're gonna be about 58 pounds per acre of product so I'll set the fan to about 2900 or 3000 we don't want to be too high or else it's just gonna blow the mustard out of the ground so how you do that is we'll get this kind of out of the Sun there we're going to go here and then we'll go to that page and our SCV. I'm going to just turn this guy down a bunch. We don't actually have a setting. we got to switch back then to our air cart. Let's see, we're about 39, 32. Let's see how far it actually drops it down. And I'm actually going to bring the RPMs up a little bit. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go up some. About 2,700. We'll pop this guy up a little bit. 
we'll just kind of go back and forth until we get it right about where we want it. But then after that, we should be about ready to roll. Anyways, there's one more thing I was going to show you guys. On this other side of the tank meters, we have this agitator arm right here. And that spins and just kind of helps to break up any clumps inside the tank. And it's got a high and low setting. So this one's set to the low setting right now. You can see the high setting upside down there. But these two other tanks are set to high because when we were seeding the chickpeas, we wanted it spinning faster. So anyways, I'm gonna take this guy, break him loose, and then we'll put this arm to the low side. And we'll do that for both tanks. And then we'll kick the air on and we should be ready to go. So then just like that, we are off getting our mustard seeded. Talk about a beautiful day. Anyways, that should about wrap that up. I'll see you guys later.